everybody, Lauren here, and I thought we could take a little bit of time today to talk about some LuLaRoe tops and how you can knot them and pair with every skirt in your closet. LuLaRoe has so many great tops for us, and I love that they go with absolutely everything when you add just a little bit of a knot. So I'm going to start with the first piece that made me fall in love with LuLaRoe, our Irma tunic. The Irma tunic is a fitted sleeve, longer body. You can see how long it is. It's gone completely out of the frame, um, but it's a high-low tunic hemline. I'm going to tilt the camera just so you can see. You can see how long it goes in the back and how short it is in the front. And I want to change it up because I want to be able to wear it with my really cute Lucy skirt today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up to the waist of my Lucy skirt. So I wear my Lucy skirt at my natural waist because it gives me a great waistline. And I want to show off that elastic and show off that waistline. So I pull that Irma all the way up. I pull it tight in the back kind of pull it around to the front and I have all this extra fabric. What I do is I reach for that hemline so I'm just holding one layer and I pull the rest towards me so I'm working with the least amount of fabric. I've got quite a lot bunched up here. I'm going to take just this little bit and I twist it around my finger and make it a knot on itself. And I just pull it right through. And now I have a little knot on my Irma tunic right at the waist of my Lucy. You can kind of adjust it if you want to hide that elastic. You can just scooch it right down covering that elastic. Now you've got this really cute cinched shin waist. It brings in that waistline up with just an easy knot. Now I'm going to show you another really cute knot. We can do something called the flower knot. And in order to do the flower knot, you're going to need two little clear elastics just like these. So you probably have some on your bathroom floor. <laughs> um, but grab two of those. You're gonna do the same thing. Pull that Irma tunic up to your natural waist and use one to kind of secure it like a ponytail. So you're gonna use your first elastic to make a little ponytail with your Irma. Now you could easily um, stop right here. You could leave this a cute ponytail or you can make it a cute little bun or whatever, but I'm gonna make mine that full ponytail. Now I'm gonna take my second elastic. What I'm gonna do for my ponytail is you have all this extra fabric, right? So I'm going to kind of stick my hand in it, kind of make it blouse out a little, and I'm going to pull it over the knot itself. So I'm just kind of folding it over where I kind of cinched it. I'm going to tuck this bottom hemline in here, pulling it right over where I cinched it, and I'm going to take that second elastic. I'm going to reach right in. I can feel where I secured that first one, and so I'm just going to go right around it a couple times just to secure it and then you can kind of fluff this out and now I have a really cute flower knot if you have some pieces sticking out just like I do I kind of take them in and I just tuck them in the back there into the elastic and now you've got a really really cute detail with your shirt just from two little elastics so you can kind of see how that pulls that waist in gives that little accentuate detail but on a simple necklace you're easy to go so that's two different ways you can take your Irma tunic and make it a great top to pair with all of your skirts now let's talk about the classic tee the classic tee is one of my favorite tops because it features just a simple easy scoop neck it's got a little bit of extra length in the back to keep you covered and it is the most versatile top we've got. I put on the classic tee backwards today because it totally changes the look. See, got the tag right in the front. It kind of dips that scoop in the back to give a little peekaboo in the back. It gives a really cute detail and it's easy to knot. We're gonna knot this one just like we did with the Irma. So the classic tee, remember it's a little bit longer in the back than it is in the front. That's why I like to flip it around backwards because then I'm dealing with more fabric in the front. So I kind of, just like I did with the Irma, pull from my back right at that waistline all the way to the front gather all that fabric you could do those same things with the Irma with that flower knot or by using that hair elastic but I just like to twist it on itself give it a quick little knot then I usually with my classic tee I have this extra part sticking out I'm not a big fan of that sticking out you can make it really cute and hanging but I generally take this and then I just kind of tuck it around so you can tuck it around the back and just kind of tuck it in the side just like that and now you've got this really easy knot. It's really easy to put right in the middle, give it front and center. You can easily push it to the side too. 
do a quick little side knot. It's totally up to you, but the classic tee is super cute knotted. I love it with my Lucy like I'm wearing today, but it's also really, really cute over a Carly dress or over an Amelia dress pulled up to bring that waistline in. So I can't wait to see you try knotting that classic tee. All right, let's talk knotting our LuLaRoe tees with the perfect tee. It's a great tee for knotting because it has two slits on the side. It's got that A flowy shape and then two slits. It's really easy to tie the two slits together to make a knot on the side, but I want to show you my favorite trick for knotting your perfect tee with your Lucy skirts, with your Madison skirts, and with your Lola's too. So it's got two panels. It's constructed with two pieces, that back piece and that front piece, and it has that really pretty slit there to give that movement. What you're going to do is you're going to reach for that back panel and grab those back corners. You see how I've got my back corners? Now I'm going to pull it up to make that natural waist just like I did with my classic tee and my Irma. And I'm going to take those two corners and I'm going to tie them in the front. So I'm just going to tie them right in the front, right at my waist. Now I've got all this extra fluff in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and tuck it into my skirt. Nobody has to know. And you can kind of spread it around so it's not all bunched up can kind of straighten out your top once you get it tucked in. And then I like to take this detailing part here and I just kind of like to smooth it out. So I pull it over my waistband. You can kind of tuck and smooth how you see fit. And then I'm going to pull it over my waistband over here as well. Once again, you can tuck and smooth how you see fit. Adjust that knot right in the front. And now you've got a really cute way of knotting your perfect tee over all of your skirts. And you don't have to leave your Randy tee out of this conversation either. Your LuLaRoe Randy tee knots just like your classic tee in your Irma with that simple knot right at the waist. So pull from that hemline, pull towards you, give it a quick knot, and you're ready to go. Gives it a fun, casual tee with all of your skirts. Now, I can't wait to see how you like to pair your tops and your skirts, and I can't wait to see how you rock your knot. So I want you to take a picture, and then I want you to share it with me on Facebook. Find me at LuLaRoe Lauren Burgess, and give me a quick tag and share your photos with me, or show them on Instagram and use the hashtag Lauren's Lula. I can't wait to see you rocking your LuLaRoe and how you knot it all up. You ladies have an awesome day, and go rock it!